Good morning, seniors. Welcome to the senior class fall meeting. Mr. Elliott and I are here this morning to share a little bit of information with you. First of all, many of you are very excited about the school year. It's going to be a super exciting year for you. And remember, everybody's going to be doing something different. Some of you are going to be applying to a four-year university. Others of you are going to go to John Tyler for a couple years. Some of you may go into the military. Others of you are going to go into the workforce. So please be respectful of everyone's plan, even if it isn't the same as yours. I also want to remind you that sometimes senior year can be a little frustrating because many of you have worked towards a certain goal and you have a certain college in mind that you want to go to. And some of you may face a little disappointment this year if the college that you had your heart set on doesn't materialize for you. But understand that there's a college out there for everyone. So keep your plan flexible. And just because you don't get into your first choice school doesn't mean that you're not going to go somewhere great that ends up being right for you. So today we're just going to talk a little bit about some expectations and procedures for moving forward. We're going to try to help you guys have a smooth and memorable senior year. And then at the end, you're going to be able to ask some questions if you need to. Okay, guys, first thing you need to remember is senior dues or senior fees. They are $20. There are about 30 um, seniors out here in the building today that still owe $20. You can come by and see me in room 335, um, cash, or a check made out to Midlothian High School. Um, you need to pay for to get your prom tickets. So in the spring when we have prom tickets, remember seniors go to prom free providing they've paid senior dues. Um, you need to pay to get your cap and gown, which will be distributed to you at the end of April. And of course, to participate in graduation, and most importantly, make senior year fun again. Okay? Um, Herf Jones, everybody, or not everybody, but a lot of you last week or two weeks ago ordered your cap and gown um, with the Herf Jones representative in school at lunch. If you have not done so, please go to vagrad.com okay? and when it asks you for the school, you need to put in Midlothian High School. There's two Midlothian High Schools. Don't choose Midlothian High School South because then you'll be graduating in Midlothian, Texas. So make sure that you're in Midlothian, Virginia. Okay, you can go online to their website and order the cap and gown package. Um, if you need to order announcements, um, if you need to order thank you notes, that can all be purchased from the website if you prefer to call the office. If you need to contact them by email, their email address is info at vagrad.com. It's very, very important that you get your cap and gown ordered now. You need to have the cap and gown to participate in graduation exercises in June. And remember, this year, you guys get to debut the newest and the greatest Midlothian cap and gown this year. And they are no longer rental gowns, you guys, so you get to keep them, go home, take all the pictures you want with them. So rental gowns are out, and we're keeping them. And they'll be delivered to you on April 11th. And April 12th, during lunches, make sure you pay fees so that you can pick up your items. Your senior class sponsors and officers will be putting together a, your first service project this year, which will be a canned food drive. Last year, we donated 462 pounds of food to the um, Chesapeake County Food Bank. So that was really awesome. They were really, really excited. We're going to partner with them again this year, and hopefully you guys can help us beat the goal. Okay, we're going to be doing that in November. Um, look for the food donation boxes that will be put up around the school by the front of the building, and your officers and council members will be pushing out information to you um, on uh, posters, social media, and um, um, <clears throat> through Mr. Abel's famous phone calls. Okay, t-shirts and hoodies, if you've ordered them, they have been delivered to your first period class, you should have already received those items. 
If you have not received your item, please come see Mr. Elliott, myself, in room 335 so we can get that straightened out. We did order a few extras, so if you have seen the newest designed um, senior t-shirts, which were designed by your great senior officers, and you still want one, they are $10 for the t-shirts. Your officers also designed new this year for you guys, a senior hoodie. Um, they are um, $17, so come by and see me in room 335, and I can hook you up with that. We have a limited supply left, 17 for hoodies, 10 for t-shirts, cash or check made out to Midlothian High School. All right, Ms. Manheim, you're up. Okay. Ms. Manheim, can you shift in a little bit? Okay. All right, so I want to talk with you guys this morning a little bit about your teachers and how important they are as a senior to you. You need to ask yourself, are your teachers going to be facilitators for you who are going to help you with the college application process, or are they going to be gatekeepers? Hopefully you have a good relationship with multiple teachers in the building, teachers that you can go to and ask for a letter of recommendation. Most teachers are very willing to write those letters for you, provided you do a few things. One, you ask them in advance. You cannot ask a teacher for a letter that you need the next day or within a few days. You need to give your teachers plenty of time to write those letters. Also, when you come to ask your teacher, it's very helpful if you have a list of the activities you've been involved in printed for them because the teacher can speak about your personality, your work ethic, and things like that but they're not always going to know what clubs you've been in or sports you've played or community service that you've done. So if you want your teacher to be able to write a detailed letter, it's nice for you to provide that information. The other thing that you need to remember to do is to thank your teachers because remember, they have a lot going on. They have papers to grade, they have lessons to plan, so you're asking for a favor. So you need to make sure that you follow up with a thank you. You never, ever just send a common app link or something to a teacher without having asked them first if they will write you a letter. All right? A lot of teachers are just going to delete that email. They're not even going to look at it if you haven't asked them first. So make sure you ask them. The other thing I want to make you aware of is that senior teachers are emailed daily sometimes, especially towards the end of the year right now, often weekly, for nominations for scholarships. And teachers have to think about seniors that they would like to recommend for different scholarships. So again, you need to think about your relationship with your teachers and the impression that you're making on them. I know personally, I don't care how smart a kid is, if they are not pleasant in the classroom, if they're not cooperative, they've got their head down on the desk, if they're tardy to class, they have a bad attitude, that person never comes to mind. So that, that is not somebody that I would recommend for any scholarship, and I think most teachers feel the same. Mr. Elliott? They, they do. So just make sure you give advance notice, especially on those recommendations. Some teachers are really popular um, for recommendations, and they'll only write so many of them. So um, if you need some recommendations, it's better to get on it earlier rather than later, okay? All right, so let's move on to Senior Day. And Senior Day is a really fun and exciting day where we do not have a date yet for it, but you will be getting that shortly. And this on this day, we celebrate different achievements and awards that students have earned, scholarships as well. And it will take place in the auditorium, and you will wear your graduation gown with your graduation attire underneath. No caps. No, no caps, caps on senior day. And then after the ceremony, we will have the senior class picture. During the ceremony, we have a couple of different things going on. We have the officer sharing the class history. We do the senior superlatives. We have a couple talent acts. Your class um, historian will be putting together a great class slideshow, video show of um, everything that's happened throughout senior year for you guys. And you will have several awards. Um, we'll have 
scholarships recognized and academic awards will be recognized during that time also. So it's a really fun day yeah. and a special day. Yep, and after the class picture we have usually some sort of food set up for you guys. Last year we had Brock's barbecue. I don't think we've decided this year what we're going to do for that, but we will let you know as soon as we decide. So with graduation coming, it's never too early to start getting prepared. So let's take a moment to talk about dress code for graduation. Midlothian is very, very classy and we like to look really good. Um, you can watch the graduation videos uh, from other schools. I think we look the best, we are the greatest. But to look the greatest, we have some very specific guidelines. So ladies, start shopping now. Shop your sale racks, get yourself a very nice white dress, get yourself a nice set of white dress shoes, okay? All right, uh, make sure that your dress shoes are not sandals and flip-flops, not those kind. You need a nice, solid pair of white dress shoes, okay? And sandals are, are okay, Mr. Elliott, as long as they have a strap on the back. They shouldn't be flip-flop type sandals. Okay. Um, gentlemen, you're going to wear either navy blue or uh, black um, dress pants, uh, white button-down shirt. You need a, a tie. It can be a bow tie or a uh, regular necktie. Um, you need black dress shoes or you can wear cordovan colored dress shoes which are really dark reddish brown uh, shoe. But it needs to be black or cordovan. Okay, Sperry's, boat okay. shoes, those, those are not dress shoes for this kind of event. Okay, if you need examples of dress shoes and um, outfits, please refer to the handout that has been distributed to you in homeroom. Um, that on the back side that has some picture examples for you. So just remember, we're really classy at Midlow. You guys are going to look great in your new gowns, and we want you to look great with the dress code. Okay? So please do not come to the Siegel Center on the day of graduation inappropriately dressed. If you are inappropriately dressed, we have a supply of clothes from Goodwill, and you will be asked to change into those clothes that are more appropriate than what you have worn. At graduation, <coughs> students will wear regalia, otherwise known as bling, as I like to call it. And those are special things that students wear for the different honor societies, different chords. NHS has a special stole. Some of the class awards that are given at senior day have special pins. So any of those things that you earned here senior year are acceptable to wear. What we don't allow are random sports pins, your safety patrol pin from middle school, your Girl Scout pin. We don't allow any of that and those will be removed. And we actually have a teacher, I call him the Bling Meister, and his job at graduation is to inspect every student and make sure that they are not wearing anything inappropriate. Essentially guys, if it's not recognized in the graduation ceremony program, you cannot wear it at, at the ceremony. If you have questions about is this approved or not approved, please see uh, Ms. Mannheim, Mr. Elliott, or Mr. Abel. Okay? Oops. Pause that one. Okay. I gotta back up. Back up the bus. Back it up one. Okay, so we gotta take it from upcoming senior events. I printed that order. I took out the wrong slot. That's fine. Oh. Okay. All right. So I gotta wait what a second at least for you to go again. All right. Upcoming senior events for you guys. We already mentioned November canned food drive. You'll hear more about that from the officers and council. During December, the senior class always adopts um, two angels, a female and a male, from the angel tree. Your council, your senior council and officers will be getting details to you about uh, donating and contributing to that event. Um, March 30th, the big senior faculty basketball game. Stay tuned in the um, early or late winter. We'll be running the lottery system to uh, participate in that. Another big day, April 11th and 12th, providing that you've paid your senior dues. 
Um, you will be able to pick up your cap and gown and any other items you've ordered from Herc Jones um, in the um, closed commons during lunch. Another big time, April 21st, prom. This year will be held at the Renaissance Hotel. And then finally in June, uh, we'll do the Senior Day Awards Assembly and lunch. You also have um, baccalaureate on June 3rd, which is an optional um, church ceremony for you to attend. And then of course, the two big things, graduation practice, a mandatory event, Practice is held in Midlothian High School. We start in the auditorium and then we will go to the auxiliary gym to practice how to line up to receive your diplomas. That will be around lunchtime on June 7th. And then the biggest event of all, your graduation ceremony will be June 8th. Ceremony starts promptly at 7 p.m. at the Siegel Center on Broad Street. We will give you exact reporting times, but generally you'll need to be there two hours prior to the ceremony. Allow time for traffic, so start planning those things now. Okay, if you guys still have further questions or um, anything you need to ask your senior sponsors of uh, anything that we've covered so far in this presentation, don't ask your homeroom teacher right now. Please go to the bit.ly link, ask your sponsors. Type in whatever question you're having or scenario and Ms. Mannheim and I will make you a new video with all the answers to your questions. Thanks for listening you guys. Have a great rest of the day and let's make senior year great again. Congratulations seniors and welcome to another great year at Midlothian High School. Today, school counseling just wants to share a few pieces of information that are very important to helping you navigate your senior year. First things first, have you turned in your green sheet? This sheet tells us how your diploma will be created. If you have not turned this form in, please turn it in as soon as possible. Again, this is how we will order your diploma. So if you haven't turned it in, please do so immediately. The next thing that we're gonna talk about is the senior autobiography. Some of you have turned this form in and some of you, well, it may still be in your senior packet. If it is, we need this form. Scholarships are rolling in, college applications are being submitted, and when you need a counselor's recommendation letter, we're using this form to write that letter. So if you have not turned this form in, turn it in immediately. Next on the agenda, ordering transcripts. Many have said, oh, I need you to send my transcript here. I need you to send my transcript there. Yes, we can and we will. However, all requests must go through parchment. If you have not turned in your parent permission form for parchment and received your code so that you can log in, please stop by school counseling and see Ms. Manson. She will be more than happy to assist you. SAT scores. Schools want the test scores to come directly from the testing agency. So that means if you have not coded your scores to be sent directly to the schools, you will need to log into your college board or your ACT account and make that request. School counselors have begun meeting with seniors and will continue to do so. Please be patient and understand that there are six of us, but there are 376 of you. So it will take us a little bit of time to see you. However, we will sit down and have individual conferences with every senior student. Scholarships. As scholarships become available, we will post them on the Midlothian School Counseling College and Career Center website under scholarships. Please understand that this should be become a part of your weekly routine to check the scholarship page. If you have any questions about a scholarship or you need some assistance, please come on around to school counseling and we will be more than happy to assist. Thank you and good luck as you navigate through your senior year at Midlothian High School.